So he came home from college just the other day. So much like a man I just had to say, son, I'm proud of you. Can you sit for a while? He shook his head and he said with a smile, what I'd really like, Dad, is to borrow the car keys. See you later. Can I have them, please? See you later, Dad. Today we read in the Torah that Moses, he's getting ready to turn over his mantle of leadership to Joshua, who is not his son. He would have liked to have turned it over to one of his sons, but it was not meant to be. Relationships between fathers and sons, between parents and children, can be the most amazing, but also can be the most painful. It's something I see often in the psychiatry office where parents come to me and say, my child, my grown child doesn't seem to want to have much to do with me anymore. They seem so angry. So we look into it further. The first step is to really understand your child's inner world. Focus on their inner world, not on your own feelings. Then ask if there's anything that I, the parent, can do to improve the relationship. Be careful, of course, not to criticize or threaten not to do the guilt thing. You may have to recognize that you can't really change other people. You can only change your own reaction to what they're doing. Ultimately, we have to live our lives, our own lives with integrity, with compassion, positive energy. Never lose that connection. Keep the connection alive. Keep love alive. And oftentimes the relationship can begin to improve as the years go on. So the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon, the little boy doing the man in the moon. When you coming home, son, I don't know when. We'll get together then, son. You know we'll have a good time then.